What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff Benjamin with I Download Blog. We are talking about a brand new jailbreak tweak today called Force Reach. And this is a tweak for the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus because it requires a device with a reachability capability. Say that three times fast. Reachability obviously is the technology or the, the tool on larger devices like the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus that allows you to quickly access uh, content near the top of the screen just by doing a double tap gesture on the uh, Touch ID center like that. So what Force Reach allows you to do is to extend the capability of reachability. Again, say that three times fast. All right, so we're gonna look at this jailbreak tweak by going to the uh, preferences here in the stock settings app. Now let's see, I'm already in landscape mode. Let's go ahead and rotate over to portrait mode like that. And let's go to settings. And you can already see right here, I have the uh, force reach settings here, preferences. And at the top, I have uh, an option for, well, I can't see that, any orientation. That, man, my eyesight's bad. Any orientation. You also have default keep alive. We have after touch keep alive. And we have insane mode, which sounds really scary and ominous, but it really isn't. All right, so the real meat and potatoes of this tweak is this first option here. Any orientation, that allows you to invoke reachability while in any orientation. So normally, when you have your device oriented in portrait mode like this, you cannot use reachability. I'm gonna double tap right here on the uh, Touch ID sensor and nothing happens as expected. But if you enable this little force orientation mode, watch what happens. Yes, you can invoke reachability. Now granted, um, I don't know, I just don't know how exactly useful that is. Like, I guess if you're using it one-handed like this, with one hand, it's kind of hard to even invoke reachability like that. But I'm gonna try. All right, there we go. Now you can actually reach content like this. You can actually hit that toggle. So I guess in that instance, it is handy. I guess it is handy, actually. Um, so I'm sure there are some usage cases where you'll find this to be like actually beneficial. Um, so I'm, I'm definitely want to hear like if you have any apps or any situations where you would think this would be useful, please let me know in the comments and also just uh, like this post as well, like this video as well. Now let's check out another, uh, well actually let me just show you, let me show you here, reachability right here on the home screen because I'm in uh, landscape orientation as you can see. Now you're definitely gonna see why I say this is at least a little questionable as far as its use, usability or its, or its practicality, I guess you could say. So I'm gonna just double tap here. Now it's, see it's acting a little weird now. It doesn't actually, okay, let's, uh, <laughs> let's go back here, let's try. All right, so there's reachability. Now let's go back and let's try it again. Oh, it's not working like it was. All right, well, let's do it this way and see if we get something different. All right, there we go. All right, so this is how it was working for me otherwise. Um, so the whole interface just kind of just slides down because obviously reachability, the whole point of it is to is to bring the interface down because the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus are really tall so that you can actually reach items that are near the top of the screen. But this one, like in landscape mode, it's it's doing it right. The reachability is actually going down instead of across, but it doesn't make it very useful. Now, where this could be useful is maybe hiding some widgets or something behind here. Now, that would be a really cool uh, jailbreak tweak idea. If you think widgets would be behind here instead, Give me a like in the uh, in the uh, video there, and just let me know and comment on that. I think that would be a really cool tool. Like you could just hit the uh, hit the home button, and you could access widgets right there um, below the icons on your home screen. That would be awesome, actually. Good good tweak idea. So if any developers are listening to this, or if you would like a developer to listen to it, uh, please let them know in the comments. All right, so I showed you that primary feature. Let's go back out of here. And let me show you this one, the default keep alive. All right, so normally when you invoke reachability, let's do it like this. It makes a little bit more sense this way, maybe. All right, so let's double tap on the uh, home button. That invokes reachability. And in a, in a second, in a few seconds actually, it's gonna go right back up like that by itself because it times out. But you can make the timeout 
uh, unlimited, so it just stays there, and it doesn't actually go away. Watch. And I can just sit here literally all day if I wanted to. Obviously, we don't have time to do that. Um, but you can see I can stay here all day. It'll stay like that um, until I say, hey, enough's enough, and I just double tap there and exit out of reachability. And then there's uh, another mode there, the after touch keep alive. There's also insane mode. And that basically, if I can see that, my glasses, I need them. Uh, force reachability to activate in any possible, any possible state. Wow, so that sounds pretty, pretty crazy. Um, so if you want that, you can turn that on if you want. If you Obviously, if you just want the uh, orientation mode or if you just want to fall keep alive, you can just use these two top toggles there. So this is, um, yeah, Force Reach. It's a new jailbreak tweak for the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus reachability devices, they are. And you can find it free of charge on the Big Boss repo. It does require iOS 8, obviously, it's going to have iOS 8 because you're using it with an iPhone 6 and a 6 Plus, which come with iOS 8 to begin with. So let me know what you guys think about Force Reach down below in the comments section. This is a really cool tweak. It's nice to have a tweak that is just really geared toward the new devices like the 6 and the 6 Plus. Folks, there are tons, and I mean tons, of additional jailbreak tweaks on the horizon or just coming out. So stay tuned to iDownload Blog and stay tuned to my jailbreak movies, uh, this channel, the official channel of iDownload Blog. And again, folks, like this video if you like this video. And if you don't like it anyway, hey, this is Jeff with iDownload Blog.